okay students so today the lecture is about uh, pharmacology and uh, the course code is cam 4451 uh, this is the first part of the lecture which is introduction to pharmacology and uh, also you can subscribe to the youtube first channel uh, so as to get updates about uh, how to access uh, the online content which has been uploaded on uh, YouTube uh, for students of the Kohart University. So pharmacology moving towards the topic. Uh, so pharma means drugs and uh, as you know logos or logy means study. So the study of the drugs is known as pharmacology. So the study of the drugs in terms of uh, their preparation, the properties of the drugs, the uses of the drugs and the effects of the drugs so these are all are studied in pharmacology and uh, in your course uh, contents uh, you can find out that there are different books uh, which are relevant to this topic and uh, other upcoming topics related to pharmacology and uh, mode of action of antibiotics so one of the book uh, which i will recommend which is also included in, in your syllabus is uh, lippin course pharmacology so either you can access uh, uh, through the trust digital library and uh, you can find that book and download it uh, or you can search online and find that book uh, and that is very interesting book it has a lot of information and uh, easy to understand and is written in a very plain english so you can understand you can learn different terminologies and different uh, uh, topics related to pharmacology <clears throat> so moving towards uh, pharmacology uh, basically we are studying a drug in case of pharmacology so what is a drug any animal vegetable or mineral substance used in the composition of medicines so that is known as a drug so either uh, a part of animal or an extract of animal or vegetable or a mineral which is used in the composition in the synthesis or preparation of the drugs or medicines so that is also known as a drug and um, uh, strictly speaking um, according to the Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. So a drug is defined as a substance recognized in an official pharmacopoeia or formulary. So official pharmacopoeia is uh, actually uh, uh, a pharmacy book in which all the medicines, uh, their formulas, their uh, um, mode of action, their um, mode of uh, treatment, and uh, their effect, uh, their uh, need in conditions has been uh, included. So that book is known as uh, official pharmacopoeia. So normally you have British pharmacopoeia or US pharmacopoeia or Pakistan pharmacopoeia or Indian pharmacopoeia. So different countries have their own uh, formulary uh, like of the drugs uh, which are all of them are included in one book so that one can find the relevant drug for use in a relevant condition so a substance intended for use in the diagnosis cure mitigation treatment or prevention of disease so any substance which is used in the diagnosis or detection of a disease in a cure of a disease in a uh, decreasing the effect of a disease in treatment of a disease or preventing the disease so that substance is also known as a drug uh, another definition is uh, a substance other than food intent intended to affect the structure or function of the body so if you are taking a substance uh, so that uh, if you have let's say you have acidity and you are taking normally uh, people are taking pemetidine which is anti-acid so it is decreasing the amount of acid inside the body so basically it is altering the function of the body 
and sometimes uh, the structure for example if you have a bone fracture and certain painkillers and other antibiotics are given to the body so that the bone can heal properly with the passage of time so that is also referred to as a drug or a substance intended for use as a component of a medicine but not a device or a component part or accessory of a device so as a component of medicine means that uh, when you are taking a medicine for example antibiotics so in antibiotics you have an active ingredient so along with an active ingredient you have other accessory uh, compounds or chemicals which are added to the antibiotic formula so that the drug is in the palatable form and it can reach to the site of action so those accessory substances or compounds are also referred to as drugs or medicines but uh, not a device so if you uh, think about a device for example if, you, if somebody has a, a problem in breathing and he's on a ventilator so ventilator is a device uh, similarly uh, other devices like pacemaker which is like uh, installed or established into the heart inside the heart so these are actually devices so they are not referred to as drugs but those uh, substances or compounds or chemicals which are added along with the active ingredient and then taken either by mouth or through injection or in the form of a cream or ointment so then they are referred to as drugs so moving towards uh, differences between drug and poison so normally all the substances are poisons there are no distinct borderline between them any drug will be toxic once they are overdosed and the toxic dose is the lethal dose so here you can understand that when a drug is given in a normal dose the required dose according to the severity of the infection so then that dose is known as um, applied dose or given dose but if the medicine is given uh, beyond that concentration so then it becomes lethal for example like most of antibiotics which are given by mouth for example ciprofloxacin or ofloxacin so they are given in the concentration of 250 milligram or 500 milligram or maximum 1 gram per day but if the dose is increased and a patient is given like 2 gram or 3 gram or 4 gram of the antibiotic so then that dose becomes lethal dose and uh, it has toxic effects on the body and it can cause even death so that is the difference between drug and poison so a drug when given in uh, appropriate amount so then it is a drug but if the drug is not given in an appropriate amount but uh, exceeding the appropriate amount then it becomes poison so in that term all the drugs they are poison and uh, all the poisons are drug so you have to be careful when you are giving a patient uh, a drug, an antibiotic or a painkiller or any medicine. Right, so what is pharmacology? So the study of how drug affects a biological system. So as we uh, discussed earlier that uh, it is the study of the drugs and the interaction of the drugs, the properties of the drugs, the uses of the drugs and the effects of the drugs. So the pharmacology is divided in two types. One is pharmacokinetics and one is pharmacodynamics. So in case of pharmacokinetics, it is the study of the body taking action onto the drug. So in terms of ADME, that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. So whenever you are taking a drug by mouth or by intravenously or intramuscularly so actually the body is uh, taking that drug to the site of infection 
to the circulatory system and during that course of reaching to the site of action the drug is, is being absorbed it is being distributed inside the body lately it is being metabolized and ultimately it is being excreted after it has done its mode of action so that study in which you are looking at what the body is doing to the drug is known as pharmacokinetics and the other branch of pharmacology is pharmacodynamics and which is what is the drug doing to the body so basically in case of pharmacodynamics you are studying the mode of action of the drug for example if you are taking antibiotic so what is the mechanism of action of the antibiotic what the antibiotic is doing inside the body how it is killing the bacteria what is the mode of action so that is studied in the branch of pharmacodynamics within the pharmacology so this is uh, all about uh, the first part of the lecture about uh, pharmacology and if you have any questions or uh, if you have any queries so you can uh, ask me through whatsapp group which you have created or uh, you can uh, leave a comment on the youtube where i will upload this lecture and uh, also i will upload the slides on the kcms platform from where you can download it and uh, yeah give me feedback and uh, let's see how it's going and i will upload the next lecture uh, after this. Thank you.